हेलो एवरी वन आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक न्यूटिया भागीरथी वेमन एंड चाइल्ड केयर सेंटर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन इनकॉन्टिनेंस आई वुड टू शेयर माई थॉट्स ऑन इनकॉन्टिनेंस इन चाइल्डहुड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज इनकॉन्टिनेंस इनकॉन्टिनेंस मीन्स इनवॉलेंटरी लीकेज ऑफ यूरिन स्टूल और बोथ दैट इज द चाइल्ड इज नॉट डूइंग इट वॉलेंटरीली बट देर इज लीकेज ऑफ यूरिन और स्टूल और बोथ so uh, is it uh, seen in children so the answer is yes it is commonly seen in children a few reports say that around 5 to 25% of school going children have problems of incontinence so what types of incontinence uh, do we see what we all know that is till 3 years of age children naturally and normally pass urine and stools in their pants or diapers that is absolutely normal but after the child after the age of 3 years of age we consider that they should be dry during the day time so after 3 years of age if they are leaking during the day that we would call incontinence and also by 5 years of age we would expect a child to be uh, dry during the night so if the child is having wet wetting after 5 years of age then we would call it call it incontinence so what are the types of incontinence as we were talking about the first is as we already told bed wetting is one of the commonest forms of incontinence after 5 years of age is if the child is still voiding uh, or uh, passing urine in the bed that would be called incontinence another form of incontinence may be the child is having a severe urge to pass urine is not able to control it and leaking a few drops before he reaches the loo or reaches the washroom that would be called uh, that will be called urge incontinence if the patient is having uh, stress incontinence that is he is doing some activities like uh, which involves training like jumping around laughing uh, or uh, sneezing and the child is leaking few drops of urine that is called stress incontinence there may be other children who are leaking urine almost continuously that is a few drops of urine throughout the day and that the pants are wet throughout the day that will also be called incontinence so what happens is whenever there is incontinence the children are getting scolded by the parents the parents and caregiver think that the child is doing it voluntarily he is naughty and they get scolded by the caregivers they are laughed at by the friends at school so we find many a times that the children who are incontinent or who are uh, having bed wetting when they grow up they are timid they are introverts they have school phobia they are afraid of making friends but in reality uh, what what is the truth the truth is that no child would ever want to be incontinent they do not do it voluntarily it usually happens on its own that is that is uh, involuntary leakage of urine or stool so why does this incontinence happen many a times there may be some psychological stressor like the child has been put in a new school or he is having uh, he has had a new sibling, sibling at home and he is unable to cope with that stress and he is manifesting it as leakage so it doesn't need scolding he needs some psychological support there are children who are constipated who are not passing stools regularly some amount of stool is there in the tummy that is irritating the urinary bladder and the bladder is behaving in a funny way and the child is leaking urine so this child needs constipation management and the child may be get may get rid of his incontinence there may be other children in which the bladder is functioning abnormally due to some other cause like there may be some spinal problem there may be some structural defect in the bladder since birth or due to some other cause the bladder is not behaving properly and the child is leaking urine so in all these cases we see that it is not the child's fault that he is leaking urine he is not the culprit whereas he is the victim so we need to empathize and sympathize with these children we need to get the child evaluated that why is the child actually leaking urine and then we can initiate the treatment that so that the child's problem can be solved we have to identify the red flag signs when we want to when we have to seek consultation suppose the child is only having bed wetting there are no daytime symptoms we can wait for a few years and see whether the child is improving or not but if the same child it's being is being bothered by the bed wetting he is very uncomfortable when he is wetting the bed so at that is the time we need to get consultation there are other children who are having suppose daytime symptoms like urinary stream is poor the child is straining while passing urine the child is having wet pants throughout the day these children definitely need consultation straight away and management needs to be started why because incontinence being uh, other than being some physical abnormality being present most importantly these are important psychological these cause important psychological problems in children and these need to be managed remember the child is not at fault the child is not the culprit the child is the victim and we need to get these conditions treated thank you so much